that's processor. So now I gotta get this heatsink attached. Again, this so these pegs line up with these four holes. Um, and uh, you really could orient it any way you want. I kind of like to make everything match. Again, make sure your thermal paste is, you know, somewhere on the heat sink, uh, on the CPU. Um, and it's a little tricky because it's not in the case. And uh, I got a camera. Um, but basically, you're going to snap each corner, each of these things. In, and you want to do it diagonally um, across. So let's see what we got here. So make sure they line up, but you you want to come on. I'm just you want to come on as flat as possible. So I think what's happening right now is that thermal paste actually smearing around. So once you have it here, you do not want to pull it away. Um, so I'm going to, right here, I'm going to push hard and you hear it click. And then you want to make sure you do the alternate corner down here. Yep. You should, yeah, it's like two clicks per thing. I'll go ahead and do this one. There, so you can see. And the last one. You know, this motherboard is pretty flexible. Um, again, I try to only touch at the edges as much as possible, but um, they're fairly resilient. I haven't broken one yet, and I've done this for a while. But I'm sure it's the first time for everything. Cool unwrap this little they just coil it like that for shipping uh, but this is what gives the fan its power it also tells the motherboard how fast it's going so it can control it um, you'll notice here it says CPU fan it's this little guy it's got four pins this has also got well if it would focus anyway it's got four pins you line them up uh, it's got these grooves, so it can only go in one way. Again, it can't, it won't work this way. Uh, um, so, 